Hello again and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little makeup collection for you all and to show you all how I organise my Alex drawers because they are a nightmare to organise and I've done a little DIY on how I organise mine. Um, it's very inexpensive the things I use. So yeah, stay tuned for that and I will get into the video. So if you watched my last video you would have seen I've done a little beauty room office tour. This is my current setup for my makeup collection. Um, I have the majority of my makeup in these Alex drawers, and what I do to organise them is. Actually, this can come so messy. I have made these little dividers. What I've done is I ordered a Amazon. I'll try and link as much as I possibly can. I bought some of this. I can't remember what it's called, but it was a roll of this stuff that you put at the bottom, and it just stops it from sliding. Um, I think it's just an anti-slip mat, but yeah, it was see-through. And then I ordered some, I can't think what anything's called today. Foam board, that's it. I ordered some foam board in white. I literally just used a hot glue gun, measured everything out, made some sides for it, and then put everything in that I wanted, and then made the dividers according to what I had. I didn't, this was, these four top ones were full of lipsticks, that's why they're a bit laid out, a bit funny, but... When I moved to this room, I decided to put my lipsticks up there. So yeah. Right, I will go through from bottom to top. So in the bottom drawer, I have my highlighter collection, which isn't as big as it should be. I have given us some away and chucked some away. Um, a lot of it goes to my mum because she loves it. So yeah, I have my Jeffree Stars. I have a lot from Revolution. I really like Revolution highlighters. I have this Ofra one, which is... Amazing. I have the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, the sleek that everyone had. And I have these three little Jouet mini ones that come in a holiday package and they are so cute. I love these. And then this side I have my ones that I don't really use as much because they're liquid. I don't really get them with liquid very well. But yeah, so I have my Barium, I have Makeup Revolution, I have a Becca Shimmer Skin Perfector. Um, I actually have a gosh one, which is, I used to love this in my foundation. Um, and then I have one from Colourpop, which is beautiful. And then two J Manual ones, which, to be honest, I never use. And also this NYX eyeshadow, which I use as a highlighter sometimes. So yeah, that is my highlight drawer. And next drawer I have my eye products. Um, so again, that bottom, bottom one's broken, as always. I've just used the foam board to do dividers for all the things I need. So yeah, in here I have all my mascaras, things like I have my Too Faced, Benefit, and then in here I have my glitter liners from Urban Decay and just all of my pencil liners. And then in here I have my eye primers, I have my P. Louise, MAC paper that everyone raved about, Urban Decay, Too Faced, and then some eye drops always handy. And then this is my brow section, so how gels, my brow, um, setting thingy majiggies, my pencils, and then here I have my brow palette, so I have my iconic palette there, Benefit, and then a Freedom one. Next one up we have face products. And then here I have my primers, these are the ones I don't really use as much, so I have my Elemasca, my neighbour for men, I remember when Nicky's Tours um, said this was really good and everyone went mad for it. And then here I have my more used primers, my LC, my makeup filler, my Benefit, and then my Body Shop Lightning Drops. Because if you're anything like me, foundations are always too yellow toned. So I have quite a lot um, of foundations, it's quite bad. So I have my Dior from the skin, Hourglass, I have three of the ordinary ones, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, L'Oreal, number seven, Tarte. I actually have a Primark one as well. This is more for my sons. My sons love to play with makeup, so this sort of aisle is theirs. So yeah, that's that drawer. This is my face palette drawer. So have all of my things like I have my Benefit Cheat Parade, I have my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I have BH Cosmetics, it's actually a blush but it's more of a bronzer, I have my NYX, my Kevin Aquan, 
Make Revolution. I have my cream console here, so I have my cover effects. Make Revolution, Sleek. Um, and then I have my blushes here. So I have my BH Cosmetics, Milani, a Freedom palette, J Manual one. We have concealers, setting sprays and powders. Um, so I have I need a good clear out of these because there's so many. So I have ones from Freedom, Make Revolution, Maybelline, the Pure Cosmetics, how pretty. I literally bought this for the packaging, nothing else. And then this drawer we have all of my tools and eyelashes. So I have my Jeffree Star mirror, a massive pair of scissors. Right, and then over to this side, we have all of the Jeffree, well not all of them, but this is my Jeffree Star collection. These are all of my nude go-to. My sons the other day, because they are lovely, decided to let the dog eat the end of that. They always go for the expensive ones. I don't know how kids know, but they know what's expensive. And on this side, I have my Bare Minerals, Bare, oh, Bare Minerals Lip Glosses, which are the mini travel sizes. So yeah, and then I have my Metallics, my Reds. So yeah, these are more just of my dark colours. And then I have my Anastasia Mode Renaissance, Laura Lee, Cat's Pyjamas, Too Faced Nick Tutorials, Revolution, and So Palette, which is beautiful. The Manium Yue and Makeup Geek. I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light, this is the Glimmer one which is really pretty and the Jeffree Star Androgony and then up here I have my Violet Gloss the Jack Hill palette from Morphe and then this one is it's a mixture of Morphe palette, the 35O matte, the 35O shimmer and the 35F um, so this is like my go to and this one has a lot of makeup geek ones in because if you haven't tried Makeup Geek eyeshadows, you need to. They are amazing. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, if you like the video, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.